guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's the start of my Valentine series. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this romantic first date makeup that I think is so perfect. It's very natural, and I feel like it just draws the other person in, and it has very soft colors, but also not just your regular browns. It has more taupey purples and a gorgeous rose gold shade on the on the lid and you know this girl loves a rose gold we're doing a valentine series starting today until monday up until the day of valentine's day so you can practice the makeup and practice the look you would like for your valentine's date on tuesday whether you are single that is totally fine girl i think the best thing is is like when you can love yourself so fully that you don't need another other like another person to be like oh i feel loved it's like if you can feel love within yourself for yourself yes please continue watching if you like to figure out how to get this romantic date night look it is 7 30 in the morning and I gotta go to school today so the first thing we're going to do is prime our eyes with their air patrol by benefit next I'm just gonna set that with a powder just any loose powder will really work about today I am going to be using this Too Faced um, Christmas Edition palette. It looks like that. I just need kind of purpley undertone shades and that will give you a nice room. For a transition shade I am taking this Paper Rose which is a very champagne-y color and it's shimmery which will make your crease kind of glow. The next shade I'm going into is Reindeer. palette doesn't have as much color pigment as it could. You guys can see the eyeshadow bed. I'm turning down the brightness on the camera. Alright, so I'm going back in with that reindeer and just building it up. These colors were going to build up a lot. Okay, I'm going into Dreams, which is this, it's more mauve purple. I don't know if that's the right word. Let's try some cool. And oh, yeah, this is gorgeous. We about to make it poppin'. Riel's Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. It's like that. It's oh, rose gold to the max. Mm. Making a Morphe flat brush. This is kind of like the MAC 239. This all over the base. Oh, dang, honey. Hey, where'd you get that eyeshadow from? Looking at my mirror down there and I hope you can see. I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and just blend out the edges so they're not so harsh. Yeah, I don't wanna go to school. Actually, I don't mind school TBH. As anyone else, I really don't mind school because I realize this is the only time I'm really gonna see my friends a lot. You know, after high school, you're never really gonna see them. And I feel like people are like, oh, high school. I'm like, yeah, high school's rough. I know, but like, I feel like this is the most freedom you're really gonna have because once you have a job, you're gonna have a schedule, you're gonna have no time to hang out with friends and all this stuff, and it's just like. Be appreciative like I'll be sad when I graduate because it's like I have to go do life stuff and like who knows mm. also my lips are really pink as I turned up them last night the primer I'm taking Smashbox's photo finish um, color correctness and the benefit professional my birthday into a lifestyle lifestyle I'm taking this MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. It's kind of old. I probably shouldn't use it, um, but I am anyways because I'm out of foundation. I might only have one pump in this hole. No, I'm going to get some out. I know I can. Everyone's like, oh, MAC is so expensive. Actually, MAC is a lot cheaper than a lot of other companies. I'm just putting it out there. I'm going against my word in my last video. I'm going to try to use this brush for my foundation. I don't know how it's going to work out. But you know, we'll see, and I can always, I'll probably just go back with Beauty Blender, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna put the foundation down here and just blend it out. Super warm toned. Super, super warm. Yeah, the brush is kind of taking up a lot of the foundation itself. 
I got a busy, today will be a good day. That's what I always tell myself before I go, today is going to be a good day. I try to be as motivational as I can be. Okay, look how bright my lips look. I'm sorry guys, I did it done. It took me four minutes to do my foundation with this. It took so long to blend out. I mean, the finish isn't terrible. It just took forever. Next, I'm gonna be taking my favorite, my tarts, tart shaping, sculpting, putting it under the eyes. Oh, you know what? I have a feeling my skin is gonna look good today because it kind of blended onto the sides. Yeah, dang. This is a bit too white with this foundation. Like, I feel like I should be having a tan while wearing this foundation, which I don't have. Oh dang. I'm gonna set it with the Laura Mercier. I love this stuff so much. For contour, I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D palette again in that same shade right there. So this is the Kat Von D eye contour palette. I just love this brush so much. If you watched my Janu or not, yeah, January favorites, I just raved about this brush. If you haven't watched my January favorites, you should, and I'll leave it linked below. Taking Dreams again on this palette, I'm gonna bring it under. I'm doing my makeup in a weird order, I know. Under the lash line. I'm not gonna bring it all the way under the eye, just to the, right about there. Just like, oh, dreamy and romantic and cute. Blush, I'm taking this Mana, Manali, Milani blush, and Romantic Rose. This is their first shade. I just love the packaging. I'm just gonna, this is a highly pigmented uh, blush. I'm just telling you, for drugstore, this stuff, pigmented. So. Brows, I know I have a ginormous set. Let's just stop pointing that out. Okay, for brows, I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Definer. I do my brow, I do my makeup in such a weird order. I just. I'm just gonna go over it with some Maybelline Brow Drama. I just said that. For brow highlight, I'm taking this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Midnight Cowboy. I like Urban Decay single eyeshadows better than their uh, palette and eyeshadows. All right, and I'm putting that under the brow bone. It's kind of a pinky highlight, which I like because I kind of want to go for a pink romantic look. I'm putting some of the Amber Rush, or the Amber, yeah, Amber Rush underneath that. I'm going to take this Too Faced Bullet, I think it's called, just Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. Perfect black, and I'm going to line my eyes with that in the water, in the water line. Basically, when I do this, I just kind of look down. I stick my pencil up there and just ride the line. And this will just define your eyes. Yeah, I don't think I want to wear eyeliner with this look. This whole makeup look is really about looking natural and very light but very effective and if you do that in the right way girl you set for highlight I'm taking Carly Bible's palette I love her palette and I'm taking this silver and like warmer toned highlight obviously for mascara I'm taking my favorite benefit roller lash what I love about this is that it doesn't fall it literally lasts all day and it's a mascara. Okay, confession, I peel my lashes. Like, I just, when I'm bored, I, like, take off the mascara. This one doesn't make me, because it feels gross when you're peeling it off. It 
This one doesn't have, have a satisfying peel. Lips, I'm taking a very cute pinky shade. This is Coco by Kylie Cosmetics. It's just very pink and welcoming. It dries darker. Oh, it smells so good. It dries darker than I always thought. Okay, so I'm putting it all on my lips. You know, if you get that, you know, you get that at the end of the day, this stuff won't come off. Unless, like, y'all go to town, but it's so clean. Thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a like comment down below what you're doing for valentine's i'm i have an orchestra rehearsal so i ain't doing them anything very special and don't forget to subscribe especially because i'm doing a whole series this weekend make sure you hit the bell so that you know when i post next because i'm going to be posting all weekend and up until the day of valentine's and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye